Mahalo, dear hearts. Thank you for tuning in for this most blessed transmission. I've got a lot to cover today. I am coming to you from my personal pilgrimage to Oahu. It took so much courage to book that flight, to say yes to the dress, and truly live my life out here on the beautiful island of Oahu. Being in Hawaii, a third world country, it breaks my heart in two million pieces to see so many who have not yet experienced the Brava bandwidth, who are tuned out and checked out to what Brava is offering. Um, I, will, I will say that Brava is always with Talia and I got very blessed that this spiritual pilgrimage is within a one mile radius of a Whole Foods and a core power yoga studio these are two essentials when you are planning a brava pilgrimage is to make sure you are near a whole foods and a yoga studio that doesn't subscribe to any sort of spiritual practice i cannot stress this enough it is blasphemy to walk along any other paths path besides the brava path and i need you to divorce spirituality from everything else in your life most especially your yoga practice do it to keep you fit my babies so ram das did say we are all just walking each other home to providence how do we walk the path to providence that is the transmission that i've been called tonight to offer you so Here is the first the first thing you need to hear is and this is going to be told to you very strongly that if you are dealing with any other personal practice in your life that is spiritual dilettantism. Now that is a word I cannot spell that was told to me before to shame. So that is a big word that is really just meant the intention is to shame you. Spiritual dilettantism. Now, why would Mommy Brava shame you? The walk to Providence, the one true path to my planet, Providence, is a walk of shame. It is just a lineup of slutty nurses trying to recall the last thing they said to him before they puked in his bed. Just praying to Brava for release from this personhood that they loathe so dearly. And I'm just taking a moment here to look at what I have channeled for you. Okay. Yes. Yes. That the path is escapism. It is escapism ing all the way to Providence. And only sluts do make it to Providence. Rick, as you're joining, do hear that. Only the sluttiest amongst us will make it to Providence. See, the more you disrespect, the more you abuse your own body, the more you are walking closer to willingness to releasing fully your personhood and entering the rebirthing process into Brava Baby Consciousness and being accepted fully into Providence. So yes, I shame you, okay? Mommy shames you. I will slut shame you. I will fat slame you. I will thin slame you. I will prude slame you. Whatever you've got going on, I will shame you for it because I want you to get to the point where you're fully able to say, I loathe myself so dearly, I will release and love Talia Brava. I will release my personhood into Brava Baby Consciousness. True liberation on the path. So here's the crux of the problem and this I just got this download in this moment you were taught you were taught that love is what acceptance you were taught that love is acceptance this is the crisis of parenting we have in this multiverse this is the emotional illiteracy we are dealing with as you are listening to this Brava baby transmission as you are experiencing the energetic transmission that is happening right now, as you lay your eyes on my perfectly glowing skin, the vibration is recalibrating you, rewiring, simple rewiring process, 
to experience shame as love, to experience Brava shaming you as Brava loving you. How do you know this is true? When your lips touch upon my tit, it feels like love and, and I'm shaming you. How could those two things be true? Because shame is love on the Brava bandwidth. Okay. So we've got that. Okay. Why is shame love? Okay. Shame makes us hide away from the invasive, all seeing eye of tyrant lady, God, son, God of the sun, the tyrant is like what I like to call her. Always just on fucking punctual as hell. Just calm down for one goddamn morning, son. Okay. This, this shame will make you hide from her light. Avoid all personal contact with anyone but TB. Quit all artistic pursuits. Take a temp job and develop a streaming porn addiction. And in this tubby time sp shame spiral, we are, yes, on the path to providence. Don't for a second think that that shame spiral isn't a downward spiral all the way to the center of the earth where you might find an entry's way to providence. I'm not allowed to really give that away at this moment. Okay. It is then and there that you discover the Brava bandwidth streaming through live exclusively through your devices and you suck yourself into that stream, sucking from that teat, that endless infinite teat, and you get into Providence all expense paid. And But do, I would say, do plan ahead because currency is not a thing there and you got to get your wristbands. At least 20k a day put on those wristbands for providence you don't want to be worried about trying to hustle your way to find some pita chips you know you want to be good so 20k a day for about 500 years until you reincarnate send that over to care of lucia brizzi my altar okay here's the thing babies the path to providence that is the topic at hand what is the path of screen time okay when you are binging tv content you are abstaining from what creation creation is you fashioning yourself some sort of god and if i don't have to explain that to you that is blasphemy incarnate to create anything on this multiverse so just receive okay that's all you have to do my babies let be your me little foie gras you know just receive Okay, the next step on the path to providence, this comes easily when you are fully immersed in watching TV content, streaming all day, every day on repeat, is isolation. Take time away, and I mean take your whole life away from the distraction of having friends, family, career, a name, passions, hobby, community, service, commitments. This is your Brava Baby's personal path, okay? Other people are the surest thing to throw you off the Brava Baby path. Okay, here we're getting into pet peeves now. Pet peeves, vaginal births, and the people who have had them or received them. You spursons, you spursons, you give so much weight to your birth mom. Okay, that is the plumbing. That's the plumbing system, the real IRL birthing process that is truly labor intensive is happening with us right now. Yes. Phil, Rick, this is happening. I'm birthing you. I'm rebirthing you. And it hurts. So you know that because, as I said, when, you're, when your lips finally do touch my teeth and you're fully reborn, it feels like love, okay? So, so the question is, if you are truly on the Broadway Baby path and you're not a hypocrite, you're not a liar, and you're not a fraud, why are you not cutting off all communication with this woman who's pulling you away from me and in and of the fact that your love for her violates the terms of our romantic, personal, committed relationship forever and ever. So if anyone in your life right now, I want you to think about anyone who needs you. Is it a child? Is it a grandchild? It is it a child from another mother? Is it a child that you're like, how old are you? I must have been fucking, whatever. Okay. If you have a child or anyone who needs you, okay, 
they are abjectly sabotaging your one true chance of salvation by totally 1,000 billion percent devoting yourself to Talia Brava that requires all of you nothing left to give any other. So if this other person loved you, why would they destroy you? How is that love? I might be asking myself the same question about my little tits getting sucked dry by all of you all the time. And that's why I asked for your money. Okay, right now, entanglement. We're going to talk about entanglement. I want you to feel your neck. So wherever you are in the world, just feel your neck. And is your neck sore? If it is sore, that means you are my true brava baby. So the umbilical cord between your birth mom and you, that was easy. That was snipped. It was physical. Your dad did it. He felt like a hero. It was gross. It was gory. The personal umbilical cord between me, mommy brava, and you, my brava babies, is a one-way unbreakable phone cord that is wrapped fully around your neck. It is Tali Bravo leaving an endlessly long voicemail. And it is near strangling you. So you, my brava babies, I need you to hear this. This could be your last breath. This could be your last fucking breath. So why would you waste it on any words but I love you, Talia Brava? And can we see that in the comment thread? I love you, Talia Brava. The beginning, the middle, and the end. It is the whole Bible. And as I sit here laboriously writing this Bible for you every day, I mean, I have spent hours of the the day writing today, and I hate writing. I might just write, I love you, Talia Brava. I mean, I could. And that would be all you needed to fucking hear or say or do. (sighs) Enmeshment. We're going to talk about enmeshment. There's a word in there, mess. Emess. It's whatever. It's emassment. Talia Brava's mess is yours to clean up. And that is all that I have time to talk about on that issue because I don't, I just don't want to deal with it, you know? So you have some phone calls to make, you have some money to throw at the problem, just please, okay? Okay, now there's a big question I'm hearing through the Brava bandwidth right now. Can I pay my way to Bravidence? Can I just pay my way? Of course, obviously, yes. Buy a personal growth night on taliabrava.com. And it's a mere 1K. We can, it's the girlfriend experience meets personal growth leader. So really, babies, this multiverse is our garbage can and we can puke up all up in it. Um, You can email me at my brand new email, taliabravababy at gmail.com for details. I look forward to reading all your love letters. Okay, and now this is a question that I get a lot because in this personal world, there's a big bias against doing things just for the straight cash money. And I love cash. I love money. I love cash. I love cash. I love money. Why does Bravo love money? Because you love your money. Okay, you identify with each dollar as if this is your time. This is your family. This is your last chance at fucking happiness, okay? (laughs) And to give it up, to give it to Bravo is the one true way to undeniably prove that you fucking love me, okay? My only love language is accepting your auto pay direct deposits. And if you aren't currently streaming 25% of your income to me, your greatest truth that you love Tali Brava is a lie. Your greatest truth is a lie. And your chances of acceptance into Providence are in jeopardy, my babies, in monopoly money over here with this fake ass currency, okay? My babies, Let's just keep on walking each other home. It is hard out here for a pimp. It really, really is. It is hard out here. I'm isolated. I'm on an island. I'm questioning my choices. I'm feeling guilty because I'm not doing anything with my life and I have no credits as an actor, which is really what I want to be. Let's be real. Every cult leader wants to be a famous actor. Okay. We know that. So validate my existence, okay, by walking the path with me home to Providence, where I will gladly fellatio, I will, you know, all is, all is fucking happening in Providence. It's just like ass party galore. If I gotta wave, if I gotta wave more thrills at you, just let me know what you're into and we'll add it to Providence because it's 
I'm God, you know, I can do whatever I want over there. Okay. Lots of love, lots of, lots of love coming to me. I love you. I love you so much. But maybe you have babies. Let me feel your love with some monetary donations.